from the wild, vast reaches of interplanetary space, those famous bite-sized cereals, Wheat Check and Right Check bring you Space Patrol. the peace of the United Planet, the Space Patrol maintains hundreds of patrol ships about the universe. The position of the units is a closely guarded secret which is never mentioned in space phone transmissions except in code. All such messages must go to the Space Patrol code room where they're deciphered. Each Space Patrol officer is issued a code belt containing a device which enables him to decipher code messages quickly and with ease. A fact that is going to involve Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol and his Cadet Happy in an extremely dangerous adventure. Commander Corey in here. You can hold up to get happy yet. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Who? John DeMoss. Oh, yes, from the Ursa Transport Company. Send him in, please. Corey? Well, yes, come in, Mr. DeMoss. Come in. Have a seat. What can I do for you? Well, I'll come right to the point, Commander. It's happened again. Oh, yes. When you were announced, I was afraid this might be the reason for your visit. Oh, well, then you know who I am. Yes, I've been following the investigations of the other two robbers. I remembered your name. Oh, well, then you know I was piloting the spaceship that had the payroll on it both times. Yes. Yes, this makes the third one, right? Yes, but I can't understand it, Commander. The Earth Transport Company is franchised to carry many different kinds of cargo, and only once a week are they franchised to carry a payroll shipment of credits and cash. And the time of departure isn't known to anybody until I'm instructed to blast off. And yet three times now, somebody has found out about it and relieved me of my cargo. And each time it's done in the same manner? Exactly. From out of nowhere, this heavily armed ship comes up alongside. I'm ordered to stand by. They board me. The payroll's gone. Did you ever get a look at your assailants? No, never. Each time they come aboard, there's always three of them, but they're carefully masked. I, uh, I'm certain it's the same gang, though. Yes, it would appear that way. Look, Commander, we've got to do something about it. We've got to find out who this is and put a stop to it. I'll lose my job if we don't. Already they're beginning to look at me suspiciously down there at Purse of Transport. We're doing everything we can, Mr. DeMoss. Well, if you ask me, Commander, there's somebody right here in the space patrol that's in on this thing. Why do you say that? Well, it's the only way that these space pirates could operate. They must be receiving inside information on patrol unit movements, because they only attack when there isn't one unit within view scope range of my ship. Well, there may be something in what you say. I'll look into it. In fact, I'll put one of my best men on it right away. Well, I hope you didn't mind my coming in to see you this way, Commander. I don't want to take up any more of your time. Not at all. Any time. Well, thanks, Commander. Thank you very much. You sent for me, sir? Yes, Happy, I did. Hope I didn't interrupt anything. I, I didn't know you had somebody with you. No, he was just leaving. By the way, did you get a look at him? Oh, well, yes, sir. Sort of. Just as he was going out. I want you to remember what he looks like. Well, any particular reason, sir? Now, Happy, you heard about the uh, robberies of the Earth of Transport Company, haven't you? Oh, yes, sir. Does this fellow work for the company, then? Yes, in fact, he's the one who's been robbing the ships. Oh, I see. He... He's been doing it. But you let him get away? Well, why didn't you just arrest him, Commander? Because I can't prove it yet. Besides, there are others involved, including one of our own men. Oh, I see. Yeah, and you want to round them all up at once. Huh? That's right. And that's where you come in. Yes, sir. What do I do? You know what this is? Oh, I sure do, Commander. That's the Space Patrol code belt. Boy, I'll sure be glad when I'm a full-fledged officer in the Space Patrol and I can have one of these. I don't think you'll have to wait that long, Happy. Huh? You mean I can have a coat belt now, sir? Boy. You already have one. That's yours. Uh, oh, hot rockets. A coat belt. And, and I'm just a cadet, too. Boy, oh, boy. Oh, but... Well, Commander, what good will a coat belt do me? I, I'm not eligible to receive the coat of the day yet. Happy, in your case, we're going to make an exception. We are, sir? 
Well, uh, but why? You're going to help me solve these robberies, and you may need that information. Oh, well, uh, have you got some sort of a plan, sir? When the next Earth transport ship blasts off with a payroll cargo, you're going to be aboard as a stowaway. A stowaway? Mm -hmm. But first, they're going over to the Space Patrol code room. Major Robertson's going to give you a quick lesson on using that code belt. surprised to see a cadet in here. I'm not. He uh, already knows about it. Oh, well, I'm, I'm ready to start my instructions, sir. Okay, be right with you. Just as soon as I finish decoding this message. Robbie, I'll leave it in your hands. And half when you're finished, report back to me. Yes, sir. Well, that make yourself at home. Be with you in a minute. Yes, sir. You should have seen the commander's face when I told him how I was robbed. He believed every word of it. Well, you did the right thing. Tell me the man to call yourself. Well, of course I did, Vera. Throw suspicion away from me. Well, I even told him that I thought there was somebody right there in the space patrol giving out inside information on patrol unit movement. You movements. told him that? Well, sure. Why not? Because it's true. That's why. Ah, don't worry, Vera Weissman. There's nothing to it. Tony will never get caught. He's too smart. I think he's a lot smarter than you are. Yeah? What do you mean by that? I got away with it three times, haven't I? Yes, but I think you're pressing your luck. Telling Commander Corey what you did. Ah, we haven't got anything to worry about, Vera. We'll just get the code of the day. And we'll plot the position of the thing. And that Corey will never believe, never believe that there's one of his own men right there in the space patrol in the code room giving us the code of the day any time we need it. Well, it's really very simple, Hap. The fact that we changed the code number of the day is the reason that makes it difficult for them to decode our messages. Oh, yeah? And, and this, uh, this big dial up here, well, that's, that's just like the one on the back of the belt buckle. Well, exactly like that one, except it's bigger. Now, you notice on the outside ring, there are numbers. On the inside ring, there are letters. Now, say that A is 1. That would make B 11. C-19, and so on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but there's a number for every letter in the alphabet. That's right. Now, the code of the day is Q. So, we take the letter Q. Q-12. Q-12. We take the letter Q and put it opposite the numeral 12. Yeah. Hmm. That, that, it works the same way on this, too, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it works just the same on the code belt. Yeah? Right. Now, supposing we get a message like this. Huh? Four, 14, 17, 17, 3. Now, we have the code of the day. See if you can figure it out. Oh, sure. That'll be a cinch, Major. You see, I, I told you that... Hey, that's me. That spells my name. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> right. Well, that's all there's to it. Hey, well, this is, it's really very simple. If you've got the code of the day, then... No, if you don't have the code belt, it's just a jumble of letters. Oh, by the way, you know this belt glows in the dark? Oh, it does, sir? Gee, I'll remember that. It might come in handy someday. <laughs> sure thing. Well, better get back to the commander's office. Oh, thank you. Well, Happy, out of the course of instructions, 
go. Oh, just fine, sir. You know, it's really very simple, if you know all the right answers. Isn't everything? Well, yes, sir, I, I guess it is at that. Just like the answer to these payroll robberies. It'll all be very simple when we know who's giving out the information about unit positions. Oh, and that's why you want me to stow away on board that payroll ship, huh? Right. Now, DeMoss, the pilot, flies alone. I'm pretty sure he's been faking these robberies and taking the payrolls himself. Oh. And you want me to catch him at it, is that it? Yes, I want you to keep your ears open. might be able to learn something. He might try to contact one of his accomplices. Oh, it'll be a cinch, Commander. And even if he does catch me at it, right. I can handle him. Yes, but don't take any unnecessary chances. No, no, I, I'll be careful, sir. Now, there'll be uh, another code number for you to remember. Another one, sir? Besides the code of the day? This is your private code, Happy, known only to me and you. And it's permanent. Now, you said only in an emergency. Every officer has one. Boy, oh boy, a, a private code all my own. Hey. Uh, but what is it, sir? H-10. Oh, that'll be easy to remember. H, my first initial, and, and the number 10. Hmm. Now, oh. don't, don't use it unless you really have to. Oh, I won't, sir. But, well, Commander, do you know when the next payroll ship's going to blast off? Today. Oh, I see. Well, I'll be... Today? And I know Tex love me, both rice and wheat, the great to weed and packed with energy. From zooms and dips and roots and dips, he leaps with gay abandon for Tex to eat both rice and wheat. Man, what a happy landing. <laughs> a loafing, a roping, this cowhand is hustling to shoot for the loot that the rustler is rustling. And the things that he rings while the rustlers are fleeting are rice checks and wheat checks and partner that eat. He's a shooting star in his racing car, and he leaves the others behind by far. He's a checkerboard winner. Takes the right prize. Rice check and wheat check. Delicious but high. I love these breakfast cereals. I know you'll love them, too. A bite size treat, bite size to eat, and good, good, good for you. Get rice checks and wheat checks at your grocers in the red and white checkerboard package. Now back to Space Patrol. Well, then you'll be just as careful as you go out, and I mean right now. Oh, Johnny, why? Why can't I not go with you? Well, supposing I ran into a space patrol inspection and somebody found you aboard. But this is the last job. You said so yourself. Sure, it's the last job, Vera. But we won't get away with it if somebody catches you here. Well, I know you won't take all the money and run out on me. Oh, so that's it. You think I might double cross? Oh, come on, Vera. You know me better than that. After all, we've been together in this since the very beginning. Come on, you just have to trust me. Trust you, John. Well, okay, then. Up this ladder and out. I've got to blast off no, in very few seconds. All right, but I'll be waiting for you. All right. So there's the transport, cargo ship number 16, calling space control. This is there's the transport, cargo ship number 16, calling space control.
Have to you following him, sir? No, I didn't tell him, but I'll be just out of you scope range of that payroll ship. That yeah, should be a stink with half a board and you ready to make the arrest. Yeah, but you're here to take care of the accomplice. All right. I'll stick by the code room. To find out who the guy is that's passing the information, let me know. Okay, I'll nab him. See you later. Major's off. Hey, you know that that's a good memory. Yeah. You know what I'm doing here, don't you? I guess I sure do. you and that guy Tony, you're all through. And if there's anybody else in this with you, we're gonna find out about that. You found out, Cadet. Be on your necks in no time at all. Maybe at the point, Johnny. We could let him call, and if he tries to put anything over on us. Now, you might be right, Vera. All right, Cadet. But I'm warning you. Don't try anything funny, or I'll let you have it. Well, I'll uh, I'll have to put this in code H10, or else they'll know something is wrong. Oh no, you don't. I'll take care of that. The code of the day is Q12. All right, Vera, take this down. Yeah, good. Fourteen. Nine, 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 nine. Break. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Eleven. Eleven. Nine, nine, nine. nine. All right, Cadet. There's your message all coded for you. This is Cadet Happy calling State Patrol Headquarters Code Room. Calling State Patrol Headquarters Code Room. Code of the day, 14, 9, 9, break, 26, 11, 9, 9, KWK, out. All right, why, Jerry, what did you mean by that? What? Mean by what? KWK, what that mean? Oh, oh, that? Yeah, that. Oh, that was nothing. That was just my code signature, that's all. Vera, check those numbers against the letters on this code belt. I will, Senator. 26, 21. I use those letters to sign off every time I make a code transmission. Yeah, well, you better be telling the truth, Cadet. All right, turn around. What for? I said turn around. No, no. Look, we'll have to go to the moon demons. We'll pick up the loot. And we'll leave our cadets in there where there's no oxygen. And without a space suit. Thank you. 
Commander Corey from Major Robertson. Commander Corey from Major Robertson. This is Commander Corey. Go ahead, Robbie. I just received a message from after. Good. How's he doing? All right, I guess. You guess? Well, yes, sir. The message was a code. It reads all well. Well, I guess my kid has the situation well in hand. Yes, sir, except that wasn't quite all the messages. At the end, he added the letters KWK. KWK? Yes, sir. I, I don't get it. But he must have had a reason. I'm sure he had a reason. Otherwise, he wouldn't have sent it. KWK. Oh, wait a minute, Robbie. What numbers do those represent? Oh, just a minute. I'll see. 21, 26, 21. Reset your dial to H. H-10. H-10? Happy's private code. Yes, sir. Now, Robbie, those numbers mean anything? Yes, sir. Commander, they spell S-O-S. Happy must be in trouble. I'll see you later, Robbie. I'm going to catch up to that cargo ship and pay them a little call. What are you talking about, Tony? You heard me. Corey's right behind you now. You'll never outrun a ship. You'll have to let him come aboard. The cadet got his calls through for help after all. Hey, you'd better think of something bad. Yeah, well, thanks for warning me, Tony. Your mouth out. What are we going to do, Johnny? Commander Corey comes aboard the ship. We don't have a chance. I think it's just the other way around. Vera. The commander doesn't know that you're aboard this ship. Okay. Now, I'll tell you what I want you this to do. Commander Corey calling Thursday Transport Company number 16. You will stand by to be boarded. Johnny, what are we going to do with him? Well, he's all right. He's still up. Huh? Now, listen, you stand back over here. Okay. All right. now, you know what to do. Johnny, up. Yes, you do, and you're going to start giving me a few answers right now. Don't make a move, Commander Corey. Well, you know, why don't we all ask you all the questions from now on, Commander? What have you done to my cadet? I don't know what you're talking about. What, what, are, you doing? Doing? what are you doing wearing his coat belt? Oh, that. Game, Commander. Oh, that's right. What are you doing? Oh, you're going to have to find me first. Don't move, Happy. Don't make a move. I got you, sir. Oh, come on, Corey. Where are you? Speak up. I'll let you have it. Come on, Evan. Okay, Captain White. White, sir. Okay, I might as well take this away before it gets you in any more trouble. Yeah, you can thank that code belt for getting captured. Now, what do you mean? Well, I spotted you, DeMoss. You see, the belt blows in the dark. Sure, you were lit up like a spotlight. <laughs> Jack Norris reporting. Say, isn't that a wonderful story? And hey, how about that Space Patrol code belt? Really terrific, isn't it, gang? Bet you'd like to have one just like it for yourself, wouldn't you? Well, you know what? You can. Yes, sir, in a little while, I'm going to tell you how you can get a Space Patrol code belt. Don't miss out. Grab a pencil and paper quick. Meantime, remember, to be like a real Space Patrol, you've got to eat a real Space Patrol breakfast. That means a breakfast with wheat checks and rice checks. The cereals that help give rugged space patrollers that up and at them, fire and zip. Come on, gang, get them soon. Wheat checks, rice checks. Now hold tight, boys and girls. I'll be back in a jiffy to tell you how you can get a space patrol code belt. private coat to call him and tell him to pick up Tony, who was there all the time in the coat room. You didn't do so better yourself, Pappy. That was fast thinking, using those letters to send an SOS. Well, yes, sir, but it wouldn't have worked. You had to figure it out. Well, anyway, that was a pretty good demonstration to show you how valuable those belts really are. I'll think. Yeah, 
And I'll bet that DeMoss and Vera have a lot more respect for that code belt now. You know, it was, it was kind of ironical the way that code belt backfired on them and caused their capture. <laughs> It was the fun of it. Oh, I was just thinking, Commander. You know, now we could give them a code number, too. A private code. B4. B4? Well, sure, Commander. They were doing all right before they stole my code belt. Oh, oh no. <laughs> That's my cadet. <laughs> gang, Space Patroller Jack Norris again. I'm mighty pleased to have Commander Corey here with you to tell you how to get a Space Patrol code belt. A Space Patrol code belt exactly like the one that saved the payroll today and saved my life many times. A Space Patrol code belt exactly like the one Commander Corey has on. Look, it's the belt with the secret code wheel. Look, it's the belt that glows in the dark. Look, it's the belt with the buckle shaped exactly like Buzz Corey's spaceship. Now, I want every one of you boys and girls to have a Space Patrol code belt and be real Space Patrollers. Remember, this belt is adjustable, so it'll fit almost anybody. And it's so handsome, you can wear it everywhere. Now, listen carefully. Here's how to get yourself a Space Patrol code belt. Buy a box of wheat checks or rice checks. Those two super-rific cereals. They're off the box top of either one. Write your name and address on the back and send along with 25 cents in coin to Space Patrol Code Belt, Box 812, St. Louis, Missouri. This offer good in continental United States only and may be withdrawn at any time. We'll be expecting every one of you to order your Space Patrol code belts right away. Remember that address, Space Patrol code belt, box 812, St. Louis, Missouri. There's a limited quantity of these belts, so hurry. Send for your Space Patrol code belt at once. planes, events are taking place that will mean more thrill than some exciting action for Buzz Corey and Cadet Happy. So be sure to be with us next week and every week for thrills and excitement with the Space Patrol.